Back to our top story, there are reports that a number of whales stranded on the West Australian coast on that beach, that Chains Beach, have now died. The Department of Park and Wildlife estimates up to 70 long fin pilot whales were stuck at Chains Beach. This is about 60 kilometres east of Albany. Joining me live now is marine biologist Dr Rebecca Wellard. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, first of all, do you know anything about the reports of the death of these whales? Yeah, I've had a few reports from people on ground and overnight they have lost a few. There are still some alive that they are working towards seeing if they can either refloat them and triage them to see where they're at. It's at that point now where you have to decide what's best for the animal, uh, whether euthanasia is the right approach or if refloating is viable. We don't know how many have died, but uh, some reports have put it at, at dozens. Um, mm -hmm. But what does that tell us in terms of the hope of at least saving some of these whales? Sometimes refloating can be successful. As soon as whales beach themselves, the clock starts ticking. So the longer they're out on the sand there, the, the lower the chance of survival they have, the more time they're there. So mm -hmm. the quicker we can get them back into the water, and especially with pilot whales, it's really important to try refloat them together as a group. They're highly social animals. Mm -hmm. They live in family groups. So by refloating them together uh, means they have a higher chance of, of essentially moving back out to sea. But at this point in time, it's really up to parks and wildlife and the veterinarians that are on site now to assess each individual and see what's viable. We had a similar stranding uh, a few years back in Hamelin Bay, but we had about 150 pilot whales uh, here off the south coast of WA, wow. uh, which I attended. And we ended up refloating about five or six individuals. Unfortunately, a lot had perished by the time we got there. And every individual we refloated sadly restranded. So mm. you really have to consider the health and the condition of the animal first before refloating is put into action. Yeah, right. So refloating uh, doesn't always work. So we can expect some pretty bad news out of Chains Beach. Uh, on um, looking at just that recent history, Dr. Willard, why do pilot whales? Why do whales strand themselves like this? the million dollar question and if we knew we could probably do a lot more action to prevent these things I think every stranding needs to be treated uniquely it's unique per situation and it's unique per the species as well so for this species they uh, travel in big groups so I see pilot whales regularly out in the field nearly every day offshore here of WA and they travel in groups of about 50 to 200 individuals. So they're highly social animals, very strong family bonds. So when pilot whales do strand, they strand in mass numbers. So one of the theories that we have out there as to why they're stranding in these big numbers is there could be an individual or a few individuals that are sick and the family members tend to go with that individual to the beach, mm. or there might be some navigational issues, but they tend to continue this behavior together. It's been a really tense situation seeing this footage prior to the stranding. Uh, you could see them huddled up off the shore in a really tightly formed group. It looked quite as a stressful behaviour they're exhibiting there, completely on top of each other. This is a really unique position we're in to actually observe this behaviour prior to stranding. Mm. So we are learning something from each stranding event and uh, the more we get, the more we'll learn. It's just a really sad situation to see. Yeah, it certainly is, Dr Willard. So you say you're learning more and to be able to see that behaviour uh, just prior to the stranding up close, what are you taking from that, you know, initially? Yeah, exactly. So we actually had another stranding. I keep talking about how many strandings we've had here, but we had a similar stranding here just down off Bunbury where pilot whales exhibited similar behaviour as this, where they were tightly grouped and they were held off the shore, but that took about two days for them to strand. So this is where we can take this information and review it and see if there's any mitigation mm. action we considered doing if we do see this behavior again again it's a, it's a really touchy situation on whether we intervene or we don't intervene yeah weird question but are they intelligent animals i mean is there an intention in all of this 
one of my favorite questions. I think they're <laughs> incredibly intelligent. So pilot whales, they live in a matrilineal society. So they have a matriarch at the top. So some of these Love animals it. will stay with their family. Exactly. Females <laughs> rule the roost. <laughs> So they'll stay with their family for the whole of their lives at times. So the animals here, they they hunt together, they they, they beautifully feed together and they socialise together and the social structure is incredibly fascinating. So I think they are highly intelligent. Why they're doing it and if it's a a joint decision or a conscientious decision, we can only speculate. We can't get into the minds of these whales. I I wish that we could. Yeah, certainly. Uh, Well, it is... Not going to be great news. It doesn't seem there at Chains Beach, but Dr. Rebecca Wellard, we really appreciate your time this morning and shedding some light on what's going on there. Appreciate it. No worries. Thanks for having me.